Hello there dungeon masters. In this video we make a prison, complete with the guard room. As with all our videos, I'll go through a few ways you could use this map a bit later in the video, but first let's create it. We start off by generating the prison cells, some single use and other multi-use. We have the corridor that separates them. The next two rooms are one, for those on guard to sit and ensure the prisoners don't escape, and also a room to question the prisoners. Finally, the bunk room, where the guards would stay when not on duty. If you were so inclined, you could stop here and use this for the map. This is how simple and easy Dungeon Alchemist is to use, but you know us, we always like the little details in the map. Some things that might not be noticed by the players, but always add that extra little bit to them. Now we have the automatically created items, we move some of them around into the rooms we prefer. A torture room, I mean a questioning room, might not need a table with fruit on. Well, unless the prisoners really hate fruit. No, how could we use this map in our own roleplay session or campaign? I am so glad you asked. Buckle up and let's discuss different options to get your creative juices flowing. Firstly, let's discuss players on the inside trying to get out. Then we will talk about players outside trying to get in. It is almost guaranteed that your player party will likely get into some kind of trouble. So having a handy prison available to lock them up in is always a plus. But what could the reasons be why they are in here? Whilst out adventuring, while helping to clear out a mine or other location, they picked up some loot they found, like gems or magic items, that wouldn't be missed. What good adventurer doesn't collect loot when it's presented to them? Maybe the landowner has just found out and wants them to pay for their crimes. Jail! Have the party made an enemy of a local noble? Maybe one that is up to no good and the player party seems to have prevented their dastardly deeds. Maybe that noble is trying to set them up for a crime they didn't commit. Whilst in a busy and bustling city plaza, the crowd pass bumping into the players. A bit later, a player is accused of stealing and has to empty their pockets. Weird. That golden locket wasn't in there before. Jail! Did the bard forget to call a recent conquest? Jail! No, seriously. Once it's decided why they are going to jail, you need to consider if it's one or two players going, or the whole party. Once the players are in the jail, will they wait and hope justice comes through? Or will they try to make an escape? They will have been walked through all of the rooms, and the guards might have cheerfully told them there was only one way in and one way out. The question is, how could they escape? Will they distract the guards and try to knock them out to gain the key? Could they use magic to get past them? Don't be surprised if your players come up with creative ways to get out. Maybe the wood on the walls and the benches in the cell could be broken down to make tools, weapons and other items to help them escape. Is the guard watching the cells a sleepy one? Or one that is on high alert? Maybe a player will try to provoke them to open the cell themselves to teach them a lesson. Then the players could pounce. Once they are through, they will have access to more equipment. Are their bags all left in the interrogation room? Questioning room? Would they be in the dice room? Or would they be in the bunk room? Items scattered all over the place as the guards go through and help themselves to items found. This might just provoke a bigger fight for the players to get their stuff back. 
Maybe not all of your players are in the cells. Maybe one or two have been caught instead. Will the other players try to break them out? Or will they leave them there so they can have time to reflect on their naughty actions? If the players have been behaving... <laughs> okay, well, if your players haven't been caught, then there might be an NPC that's vital to the party storyline locked up. They might have information integral to a much bigger plot the players need. The players might be approached by a family member or group to request they break the NPC out before the day of their execution. It seems the NPC is innocent and going to die by false accusation. The execution is in five days. Will the players accept? How will they go about doing it? Players might choose to use the visiting hours to their benefit. They could scope out the location and guard rotation times. Will they try to break them out in visiting hours? Or come back at night when there are less guards? And most of them will be asleep. They could have the element of surprise. Could the players deceive the other guards? They could acquire guard uniform and then transport the prisoner elsewhere. Will the players instead try to find the true culprit of the crime, becoming investigators and searching all over town to find out what really happened? It might not be a person that needs getting out of prison. Could an object be confiscated? and taken to the guard room for safety. Guards not realising what they hold in their possession. Could be a magic item. Will the players turn this into an Ocean's Eleven heist? There's just a few ways to use this map. As always, I hope that it's helped you, or at least got your creative juices flowing. If you've enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button to give me a warm fuzzy feeling. And make sure you're subscribed so you know when our next video goes live. If you want to really support us, you can do so over on Patreon. We really appreciate all the support that you provide. So until next time, may the dice be ever in your favour.